introducing the AM411T as well as the AM413T. The only difference between these two scopes is one has a measurement feature and one does not, so the AM413 will have the measurement. The magnification ranges from 10 to 220 times with both of the scopes. As we're demonstrating here, we can move the microscope back a little bit and get 10 times the magnification into focus. And then if we wanted to zoom in, we would just essentially move the microscope down towards the object that we are trying to look at and then refocus the image. So this scope is very versatile in that respect, enabling you to get the whole picture in focus or just a single part with a high definition, high magnification. Now this microscope is not confined to a stand. You can take it out and use it handheld. If you want to, we can also get 50 and 200 times as well at that zero working distance. And here, as you can see, we are looking at a ring. We can place it in different spots, seeing different parts of the ring if you wanted to, different uh, points of inspection. And it is a variable focus. This microscope is also great for viewing slides, specimens as well. We can actually zoom in more all the way down to 200 times the magnification as well. And for example, we are going to use a watch here for our next item. And when getting into focus, it may be a little easier to focus it at 50 times and then move down from there. Uh, it's just a little easier when you have a little larger field of view. And here, once you have it focused in at 50 and you need to see a little more detail, you can always bring it down all the way down to 200 and 220 times the magnification. And you are able to take still images as well as, as, well as video and time-lapse video with this camera. And here as you can see we are looking at a PCB board and uh, different chips underneath the microscope and we can easily travel to different spots and different places that we would like to see because this is handheld and you can work at a zero working distance so it is steady when you do press the microscope up against the object or your fingertips. As I said before we do have a lot of accessories to work with our Dynalite microscopes. Here we are using a diffuser cap. This diffuser cap essentially softens the light that's coming out of the microscope due to the eight LED lights. Here's another example of an object. We are using a spark plug here, and we are looking at this object at 50 times the magnification. And there are also very many different ways that you can take a picture. Here we are going to take a picture with the foot pedal accessory that we do have available as well. So we'll pick line and then we just pick a starting point and an ending point and it'll give us our measurement. And here we'll make another measurement. Here we'll make a measurement of the arc right here. And we're just going to click once to select a starting point, click again to select an ending point, and then we will click another part to select the edge of the arc. And once we do that, it'll place the measurement and the measurement values on the screen for you. You can then save this picture to anywhere you would like within your computer.